For this experiment, you will need a power pack, a ray box, rule of attractor pencil, glass or perspex block, you probably need a rubber, and you need a blank bit of paper. Okay people, drawing ray diagrams to show the refraction of light through a glass or perspex block. Step one, we are going to put the uh, glass or perspex block down flat on our page and we are going to draw around it. Step two, mark a point approximately halfway along the longer side of the glass block and then you're going to use a protractor to mark a point that is 90 degrees from there, from the edge of the block and we're going to draw in a line it's called the normal line. Note, I've drawn the normal line on the outside of the glass block and about halfway through the glass block. You do not need to draw it all the way through. And we can label that normal line. Step three, the glass block is now back on the page. We have switched on the power pack and so our ray box is on shining a ray of light through the glass block. So what you've got to have in your diagram is uh, our lines that show where the ray of light went. And it's very difficult to fit a ruler in here and draw the lines now, so we won't do that. We will plot points that we can join up later. So you shine the ray of light so that it hits the glass block exactly where the normal line has been drawn. So you're shining the ray of light at the point where the normal line hits the glass block. We then plot a point showing where the ray of light has come from. And now the tricky bit. You might be able to just faintly see that it looks like the ray of light is moving along here. But of course it can't be, because if you look, it's clearly emerging at this point. So what we do is we mark, again we plot where the ray of light is going, and we very carefully mark a point, the point where the ray of light comes out of the glass block like so. Okay, final step, all we need to do is join up the points. So the ray of light came from this point here, and we put an arrow on to show the direction the light was travelling in. The ray of light emerged from here and went through this point. So we can draw that ray of light on and again we can put an arrow showing the direction of the ray of light. And that means that within the block the ray of light must have travelled along that path. Now you can see the light has not travelled in a straight line because it's been refracted by the glass block. What we then do is we can measure our angle of incidence, that's angle I, and our angle of refraction, angle R. The other thing you could do is mark, I won't show you how to do this, but you mark a second normal line at this point and you can, mark, uh, you can measure your angle of incidence and angle of refraction on this side as well. Alright, now it's your turn. Good luck!